getting ready for your marathon and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed about what to quite do uh, in terms of the kit you've got to take and what you've got to pack away. Uh, keep watching, don't worry, I'll uh, try and give you as many uh, tips and ideas as possible so you know how to prepare your kit bag. So I oh, shall lay down all them essentials for you. Welcome back folks to another video. Before I kick off this video, I just got to say a big thank you to all you subscribers out there and anyone that's just started following me recently. I've got to say that it's been a massive big boost to my training over the last 13 weeks. Just having that support in the background there, encouragement, so on the Strava as well. Just just all the, the lovely comments that I've been getting. It's uh, really, really, really nice. And just want to say a big kudos to everyone out there as well. So tonight it's just a few uh, strides, uh, a nice warm up, a nice warm down, and then that's it. I'll get myself home. I'll catch you all after the track session and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> That's me done. That went okay. Uh, the only thing, only little niggle I've got is a little bit of a tight back. Uh, hopefully I can get that looked at tomorrow morning. So I think I did do 10. I'm not quite sure I did lose count. My mind was just going off into different places when I was doing that. So I started before the main group. There's no point hanging about. The weather is absolutely awful now. It's pour, pouring with rain again. Another wet Tuesday evening. Get myself dried off now, get myself home. Folks, stay tuned for the next part of this video. I'm gonna to talk to you about the essential guide to packing your bag for your marathon. So I'll see you in a little tick. Right, so here we are then. It's Friday evening and I am getting myself prepped already for Sunday. Now everyone should do this, I feel, at least Friday evening or Saturday morning. You wanna make sure you've got everything that you're gonna need. Take any everything into consideration. We'll start off with the running shoes. They're ready, socks, shorts, me top. Your number is already pinned on, 9511. Anybody wants to track me on the Brighton Marathon app. Spare gel for before we set off, which I'll take about five minutes before we set off. I've got three, three gels in this bag here, which will go around my waist. Heart strap. This, I actually think, is the stuff which I use for chafing. It's a basically baby ointment, but it does the job. But the drawback is that it's like a white thick cream. Hence why I use these gloves to apply because it's really difficult to get off your hands. So I use the glove to apply the cream when needed. I won't go into detail there. And then I can just throw them away. And Vaseline, which I use actually for my above my eyes to stop the sweat from dripping into my eyes so i put a thick layer of that on so you just have to remember that when you do start sweating not to uh, sort of wipe it off and also these are very important so these are to protect my nipples in case of chafing which can be really painful and can be a game changer for your marathon so i've got them for my nipples and a couple for my feet just well just got one little hot spot on the top of my foot i'm just going to put that as well just to protect my foot as well imodium instance now i've never actually had to use them but i always take take a box with me i'll actually take only a couple with me i'll just take them out of the box just to show you on the camera exactly what they are obviously don't take them if you've never taken them before i have i have tried them and they're absolutely fine and in an emergency you never know again before the race just in case I'll take them as well just in case but hopefully won't need them paracetamol just in case and some ibuprofen to take just in case touch wood I've never actually had to use, use any of them at all obviously I'll be getting there nice and early in the morning I've got a throw away pair of old gloves an old hat to throw away as well and this top here as well which is i'm quite happy to donate to charity i won't be needing that after i've also got this throwaway um, anorak disposable raincoat just in case it rains but apparently it's going to be dry now so i probably won't need that so that can be left in the car if, it, if there's no rain forecast but they are quite if it is a little bit chilly in the morning they are quite good for keeping in the heat into your body so i might actually take that with me 
and put that on even if it's not raining because it does keep you quite quite warm uh, before we set off i've got my coat which will go into my kit bag some dry clothing for after so this will be going in my bag which i'll get at the end quite important because it could be a bit of a bit of a walk back to the car you don't want to be wet you don't want to get cold we are on the coast so the weather can turn quite quickly in order of packing the bag the stuff we don't need until after the race will go in the bottom of the bag here so i'll pack that away first and then i'll work my way along i oh, shall need on the before i drop my bag off to the um, baggage drop off will go on top and the rest of it i will be wearing it's quite straightforward really the other thing i forgot to mention was obviously a pair of shoes to get in change into after but i will be wearing these before i drop my bag off to the um, baggage drop off point these are an old pair but they'd be ideal to put on after because i'm sure i'll be grateful to get out of my actual running shoes so there you go i've already popped a few bits in already pop that in there ready the gloves and the hat can the gloves and the hat can go in as well everything else i'll be wearing on the day so that's it so what i normally do as i don't like everything showing through the plastic bag because obviously my my phone will probably go in this bag as well so it's good that it's inside here because it gives it a bit of cushioning as well bags do get thrown around i don't want to smash screen when i get back to my phone so i can tuck that pad that in nicely all right so that's pretty much it so everything you just want to make sure that you can get everything that you're not taking with you to the start line make sure you can get it in your bag so that ties up nice and easily i've got to say these bags don't feel particularly very strong compared to the uh to the ones that we've had in the past so just be a little bit careful there that's not, not that strong uh, I have to watch that because obviously I will be carrying this to the start line so that's it that's your uh, that's, that's all done well that's me packed and ready for tomorrow it is now Saturday morning so I'm just going to chill out today I'm going to be very very busy doing nothing <laughs> so I'm just going to take it nice and easy uh, catch up on some paperwork uh, maybe watch some Netflix, maybe watch some YouTube videos. I'm gonna take it nice and slow, nice and easy. So I hope you found that helpful, If you're, especially if you're new to marathons and if it's your first marathon this weekend or next weekend or the weekend, should I say the weekend after that for London. So take care all, good luck. Take it easy out there, folks.